Hi everyone. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, new Volster Authority 350. I just bought it recently and uh, to my big frust frustration I wasn't able to find any sort of reviews online aside from uh, one YouTube video talking about uh, running uh, Linux on it. So here it is. Uh, what you're looking at is the 13 inch uh, new Dell laptop that's running the uh, second generation Intel CPUs. This particular one is running an uh, i3-2100 uh, I believe, uh, 2.1 gigahertz and it comes by default with 2 gigs of RAM. Um, the keyboard on this, the cheapest model, the one that I have here, is not backlit but it's still nevertheless it's a very it's a very nice keypad. Um, you can see the uh, fingerprint reader here on the right and the touchpad has uh, is gesture enabled so you can do pinch zoom, you can do scrolling with two fingers it's pretty good. Um, the way it looks, again if you look online even at Dell you're gonna find all kind of pictures but looks like they're just uh, taken from the 30 350, 3450, 3550, so God knows which one's which. If you take a look at this one up front, you're going to see just the indicators here for power, hard drive activity, battery, and uh, radio. And here on the other, in the other corner, you have the card reader. Not only the SD card reader, I think it needs the, it reads the Sony speed sticks as well. Let's look on the left hand side. What you see here, as the two USB ports. This is the uh, gigabit port and the DVD. And on the other side, on the right hand side, you're going to find the rest of the ports. Here you can see the, uh, the headset. This is the, uh, uh, what is this? This one is the eSATA port, which is not um, and it's common with the USB port, you have the HDMI and the video end. At the back, the only thing you'll see, aside from the exhaust from the CPU, is here is the DC power in. And mine is the silver one. It's all aluminum encased, um, which is pretty nice as well. Now, you might be interested in up in upgrading this puppy and um, for, for those of you looking at the new Vostro lines you probably know that the 3450 is just a mess. Uh, I even called Dell and they confirmed that in order to replace the hard drive you have to pretty much dismantle the whole unit. Again I'm talking about the 3450 and the 3350. This is the 3350 if you look here this is where the battery is so it's at the back uh, as you open the cover with these two screws, I'm not going to remove it again here, you got to believe me on that. Right here you're going to find your uh, two DIMMs. So by default this one came with a 2 gig uh, Samsung DIMM. I'm gonna, probably going to add another 2 gig one uh, right next to it. So you don't have to remo remove the keyboard or anything else, it's right here. Um, moving, moving further down, in this corner here is the Wi-Fi radio which is a BGN, so only the 2.4 gigahertz. The hard drive is right in here. So it's very easy to replace in case to want to, you want to, just like with the memory. One thing to consider though, and this is important, is the fact that the hard drive that fits in this 3350 is the thin 7 millimeter one, not the 9.5. So your only option is, this one comes with the Samsung, uh, thin, I think it's called. Um, that's doing pretty well. It's not a bad hard drive by any means. I think there is another Hitachi out there that can provide the same, that is uh, as small as this one, so 7 millimeters thin. And if you want an SSD, you're pretty much limited to the old X25M series and the new Intel 320 series um, SSDs that do come in a 7 millimeter form factor with a bracket. Okay, let's let's open it up and show you a bit. I hope I'm going to be able to focus it on the screen properly. So, just came out of Hibernate. That's how I have it. Actually, Sleep is not Hibernate. 
and well one more thing this thing has as you can see up here you have the camera and the two microphones they use two microphones mostly for um, noise cancelling so it's a useful feature in for noisy environments um, this uh, laptop has only one speaker and is here I believe it's right here on the lower left corner um, it's pretty loud so I didn't find uh, uh, that to be a problem and uh, I usually use headsets with it anyway so uh, let's go back in here now let's see if you, you will be able to see this well first of all if I look at the uh, here's the performance the experience index if I take a look at this one as you can see is a uh, uh, an i3 uh, CPU with 2 gigs of memory installed it comes by default with uh, um, 7 uh, premium and the 64 bit if you look in here you're gonna see that pretty much the lowest number here 4.6 or for is for graphic graphics this is the integrated uh, Intel which is plenty enough for running I run 1080p 720p video any streaming video that you can think of it runs smoothly without shuttering of any sort uh, the screen screen is not amazing it's it's a TN screen so um, the performance is pretty good it's better than for example their new latitude series which has a bluish tint to it this one has, is pretty true to the colors and is fairly bright as you see in here the native resolution is 1366 by 768 screen is pretty good, it's pretty bright and the last thing I wanted to show you was let's see a device manager and you can see here the Bluetooth 3.0 um, the display adapter is the Intel the integrated Intel uh, the IDE is in uh, uh, it's right here and it's gonna, should be an SD which is a, a Seagate and uh, the processors you have two two cores with hyper threading that so, so they are all seen as uh, four CPUs in here overall very nice laptop I would recommend it to anyone that's looking for uh, a low priced very nice small uh, laptop I hope you found this useful I'll talk to you later